hello everyone welcome to this video and in this video we're going to look at how to download and use the moodle app at shumba training center limited so if you have signed up for a course on shumba training center limited um, on the moodle platform that is the e-campus website this video is for you you might want to download the moodle app to learn to expedite and to make your learning even much much better and smoother so if you're using an android device and um, this is what we are going to do we firstly go to play store that is the google play store uh, a place where you download your applications then on the top here we simply have to search for moodle okay so we search for moodle okay so moodle the first option there then we have to get this option here the moodle app so this is the app which you have to get then you click on what install so this is the app that you have to get do not get any other app you need to get this particular one so it's about uh, 17 mb as you can see it is downloading on my phone right now and very soon we will be able to launch the moodle app so it is now installing it has finished downloading it is now installing so this is the official moodle app it is not made by shumba training center it is made by moodle as long as uh, your site uses moodle then they can use this app here so you click on what open so it's going to take a few moments to initialize the application on our phone then we'll be able to proceed accordingly so this is the first uh, option that you meet so in this case, I'm going to say I am Elena. Since you are your students, I'm going to click on what I am Elena. Then this is the most important part. Here you need to put the site. Okay, so the uh, site where you are doing your learning from. In this case, it is the Shumba Training Center app. Or oh, sorry, a uh, site. So this is what you have to type. Very very importantly, just type m, then dot. Okay, Shumba. So Shumba, then uh, skills, then dot com. Please do not forget the M at the beginning. So M dot Shumba skills dot com. If you leave out the M, you just go ahead and type Shumba skills. Then the app will not connect properly to the Moodle site which you are using for learning. So once you are done typing that, you just click on what connect to your site. Click on connect your site. Then it's going to take a few seconds to do some loading, and it comes on this uh, site on this screen again. You can see there is eCampus Shumba Skills, and there's the URL down there. Then you put the username which you used when creating your account on Shumba Skills eCampus website. That's what you put right here. So for me, I used test. Okay, so that's the username I used. And the password, you type the password here. Okay, so. So that's the password, then you click on what? Log in. Okay, so that's the password you use. So it's going to log in and this is the screen that you face uh, that you're going to see so it's saying explore your personal area this place checks your, your grades your preferences or switch accounts and click on ok so this is the place uh, where you see a list of courses that you're taking so as you can see i only have one course on my account which is a uh, smartphone graphic design so any any more courses that i will get from shumba training center they'll all be listed down here i'll be able to choose which course to access at what time so if i click on the course right here i'll be able to open the course and i'll see the course materials over here as it is loading i'll see the course materials as you can see over here this is what you can see okay so uh, in case you want to find your way around you need to use these options these commands at the bottom uh, for you to uh, to browse through the activities and track your progress okay so these are the materials that we have uh, for the course and the way the courses are arranged at shumba training center especially the moodle uh, e-campus website you cannot progress to the next lecture if you have not finished the preceding lecture so we have to start with the course introduction we open these two pages then once we are done opening the two pages and this pages this page for lecture one is going to be 
uh, available. So first I'm going to click on this one, welcoming remarks, and it's going to load. It's just that my network seems to be a bit slow, but yeah. Okay, so this is the, the welcome screen. Okay, so we read through the, the message. Welcome message, we read through it. Once we are done, we click on what? Next activity at the bottom here. So click on next activity. And that next activity is the next page, which is the warning page. Okay, so we read uh, this message over here. Once we are done reading it, we click on the next activity again. Then we have uh, lecture one. So I'm going, I'm sure you're going to see lecture one over here. Okay. So let's give it a, a few moments. So here is our lecture one, some, some write up there and a video here which we need to watch and also some text here to read. Okay, so I'm going to click on the back command. So, so back command, here we are. And you can see the course introduction, the two uh, pages have been opened. That's why it's saying done, done. And now on lecture one, uh, it is also done because the requirement was to uh, just open the page and access the material there. Now the next thing to do is to attempt this assignment over here, assignment one. If you have not attempted assignment one, you cannot go to lecture two. So please ensure that you open assignment one, do what it is saying, and uh, make a submission. Once your, submis your, once your submission is uh, has been uploaded and everything is okay with your assignment, then you can proceed to the next lecture. So uh, these are the assignment instructions. You can uh, read this part. Then once you are ready to submit your assignment, you simply hit on e, submit. Then over here, there is a file submissions. So the maximum size, size of the file which you can submit is 10 MB and the maximum number of files is two. And these are the accepted files. You simply click on what? Add file, either a picture, a camera or a file. So if, if, it, if, it, if it's a photo, click on photo albums then you allow Moodle to access your file system on your PC, on your phone. Then you look for a photo. For example, it is this particular one. You just upload that. Uh, if you want to add another one, again, you do the same. You The maximum is two, so you add another photo. So there are two photos now. Then you click on what? Save. It's going to uh, ask you whether you are sure to submit. Click on OK. Then it's going to wait a few seconds to upload your assignment so maybe later remind me later this is about writing the app so here we are now so the assignment has been uploaded but it hasn't been submitted yet so for you to make a submission you have to check this box to consent that this submission is my work once you check that box you click on what submit assignment so are you sure you want to submit your work for grading you will not be able to make any more changes click OK. So it is now sending and within a few moments it's going to successfully send the assignment and we can proceed to the next lecture. So remember that assignment must be your work and you must be the one who has done the work. You cannot use other people's work. This is not a good way to practice in terms of education. So uh, the assignment has been submitted for grading but not yet graded. Don't worry if it is not yet graded. This is the job of the instructor and the uh, site administrator. Yours is to proceed with the course. So you have submitted assignment one. Now you need to go to lecture two. Okay. So you click on lecture two and you proceed like that. So this is how you use the Moodle app at Shumba Training Center Limited. I hope this video has been helpful and informative. Thank you so much. Remember to subscribe to this YouTube channel and follow Shumba Training Center for more updates. Thank you and bye-bye.